on and sell you slippers. Hey, hey. So this message is for any following believers that uh, feel that they kind of are going through trials and tribulations and might be a little bit desperate because this Psalms 18 verses 3 through 19 that I want to share with you is about that individual just like you, that individual that's um, really going through it. So starting with uh, Psalms 18 verse 3, I call to the Lord and he saves me from my enemies. Praise the Lord. The, the danger of death was all around me. The waves of destruction rolled over me. The danger of death was around me, and the grave set its trap for me. This guy's really desperate. I mean, he feels death entangling him. I called to my God for help. In his temple, he heard my voice. The, Bi the Bible speaks the truth, So, and it says God is the same uh, before, now, and forever, so he never changes. And listen how he responded. Um, he listened to my cry for help. Then the earth trembled and shook. The foundations of the mountains rocked and quivered because God was angry. Smoke, smoke poured out of his nostrils, a consuming flame and burning coals from his mouth. He tore the sky open and came down with a dark cloud under his feet. He flew swiftly on his winged creature. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm becoming so overwhelmed. He traveled on wings of the wing. He covered himself with darkness. Thick clouds full of water surrounding him. Hill storms and flashes of fire came from the... Because it's how much he loves. It's how much he loves us. And broke through the dark clouds. Then the Lord thundered from the sky. And the voice of the Most High was heard. He shot his arrows and scattered his enemies. With flashes of lightning, he sent them running. The floor of the ocean was laid bare, and the foundations of the earth were uncovered. When you rebuked your enemies, Lord, and roared at them in anger. Excuse me. The Lord reached down from above and took hold of me. He pulled me out of the deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemies. And from all those who hate me. They were too strong for me. When I was in trouble, they attacked me, but the Lord protected me. He helped me out of danger. He, sa he saved me because he was pleased with me. The Lord rewards me because I do what is right. He blesses me because I am innocent. I have obeyed the law of the Lord. I have not turned away from my God. I have observed all his laws. I have not disobeyed his commands. He knows that I am faultless that I have kept myself from doing wrong. And so he rewards me because I do what is right, because he knows that I am innocent. O oh Lord, you are faithful to those who are faithful to you, completely good to those who are perfect. You are pure to those who are pure, but hostile to those who are wicked. You save those who are humble, but you are humble but you humble those who are proud. O oh Lord, you give me light, you dispel my darkness, you give me strength to attack my enemies and power to overcome their defenses. This God, how perfect are his deeds, how dependable his words. He is like a shield for all who seek his protection. The Lord alone is God. God alone is our defense. He is the God who makes me strong, who makes my pathway safe. He makes me sure-footed as a deer. He keeps me safe from the mountains. He trains me for battle so that I can use the strongest bow. O oh Lord, you protect me and save me. You care, your care has made me great and your power has kept me safe. You have kept me from being captured and I have never fallen. I pursue my enemies and catch them. I do not stop until I destroy them. I strike them down and they cannot rise. They lie defeated. So do you see how depleted this guy started and how powerful he's he's talking now? You give me strength for the battle and victory over my enemies. You make my enemies run from me. I destroy those who hate me. They cry for help, but no one saves them. They call to the Lord, but he does not answer. I crush them so that they become like dust. 
which now Psalms goes into a lot of like kind of revenge on um, people. It is, you know, Old Testament, but um, excuse me, losing my composure. I don't know if I'm gonna post this or not, but um, it's just my way of showing that, um, you know, the more pain we've experienced in life, the better. If you come from this Christian biblical standpoint, and um, the more you believe, the more you have that faith, the more all of this actually comes true. Because this is my truth in life. And I've always read the Bible and I never fully believed everything. And now I believe everything. And um, my hardships are getting worse, but at the same time, um, I can't explain how much my love for Jesus keeps growing and growing and growing and he keeps coming to me, coming to me, coming to me and, and Mary and the Holy Spirit. And Okay, that's enough on that, but um, the Bible, God, if you've um, had hardship, it's almost the only way to really be able to be happy in your misery, if that makes any sense at all. Anyways, um, he's a good God, and um, I, I figure we either suffer now on earth or we suffer in the afterlife forever. I'd rather get all my suffering out of the way as much as possible here down on earth. And um, so much of it in you know early Christian times was um, martyrdom and, and being thrown in the um, gladiator ring and, and death and torture. Whereas I think so much of it now is um, really, really, you know, dealing with um, negative perceptions and poor treatment of people. And possibly from that, then eventually having to um, suffer sociological and psychological um, standpoints from society towards you about, towards your status or um, just that social, social aspect that is so much a part of us is social mammals from like, you know, um, about millions of years of, of us being very, very social mammals, but also um, just in today's society, really, really kind of leaning one way and judging you in one way, that superficial, carnal, um, materialistic standpoint. And um, none of it looking at more of the, the um, biblical Christian way, whereas um, I don't really care how you dress. I don't really care how much money you are. What is the content of your character? You know, what are your, is the intention of your heart? You know, where is your heart? Like on that, that scale from like, you know, white to gray to black so far as like kind of like, which way are you leaning? You know, anyways, God bless and I hope everyone takes that message well.